Today's workout is a walk at home. This home routine is going to be toning you up. It is a full body workout. So we're going to be burning calories, losing excess fat, and it's going to get you summer body ready. Now I do it with you in real time. It's suitable for every single fitness level. And we alternate with doing walking for 30 seconds. Then we do 50 seconds of toning. I'm going to be toning your whole body. You're going to feel fabulous. I'm going to do it with you in real time. If you haven't done a warm up, hit the pause button now, march on the spot for one minute. If not, We'll get straight into today's workout. Okay, so the first exercise, we're simply walking or marching on the spot. So you're gonna do this for 30 seconds. You can walk around your room, you can march on the spot if you want to. You could also do a little bit of light jogging. I'm also gonna give you some tips while we're doing the walking to get you ready for summer. So really good tip, once a week, why don't you start doing a, applying a really nourishing hair treatment and something that's really good, that's really cheap, is simply coconut oil. Leave it on for a few hours. It'll really help nourish your hair. All right, and four, let's go through. Three, two, and one. Now you've got a 10 second preview of your next move coming up. So this one, you are just gonna have your palms facing in, arms bent, and you're gonna do a toe tap back, alternating from one leg to the other. So we're gonna do this now, 50 seconds. So these parts of the exercise, so we're doing 30 seconds today of doing your walking, marching around the room, then we're always gonna be doing 50 seconds of total body toning. Now let's talk about where I'm sculpting now. I'm sculpting through your arms, I'm working through your core, through your abs, we're toning through your bottom and your thighs. That's good, let's just keep that going. So this workout is about doing cardio, we're doing toning, we are literally covering everything that you can do at home for free. All right, let's just keep that going. You've got last 15 seconds and these longer moves, we're not doing any repeaters, the only repeater we're doing is your 30 seconds of doing the walking. All right, that's good. And I'm gonna count you down from the last five. Let's go four and three, two and one. So straight back into your walking. So you could be marching around your room. You could be um, doing a light little jog if you want to on, on the spot. Or if you want to, you could just do some crazy dancing. So my next tip for you to get ready for summer is exfoliate. Really, you know, especially if you're coming out of the winter months, you know, our skin tends to be a bit dry and something really good with this is just a natural stuff you can use is a brown sugar mixed with a little bit of um, virgin olive oil. Just put that on your skin and exfoliate once a week. That's really good. It also helps with your circulation. Okay, so next move coming up. Remember, you've got 10 seconds preview. We're doing like a side lateral lunge and you're swinging your arms from one side to the other. If you want to just get used to the leg movement then bring in your arms when you're ready. So you're doing this for 50 seconds. Now the benefit of this move is I'm now gonna be really shaping into your waist which is perfect if you're going on holiday wearing that swimsuit bikini or perhaps you like to cover up a bit and have a sarong over a swimsuit but this is really gonna help draw in those waist muscles because what I'm doing by taking your arms over to one side and the to the opposite side I'm really engaging your internal and external obliques and at the same time we're turning through the arms we're keeping the heart rate up so we're burning more calories we're sculpting and we're also working laterally and transverse it's important your body moves in three different directions to get an effective workout you always need to engage all three all right that's good four let's go three take it two and one. All right, so you're straight back now to just doing your marching, jogging, crazy dancing, 30 seconds. Now this is a really important one to get you feeling fabulous for your holiday. Love who you are and fall in love with you. We spend so long looking in magazines thinking I want that perfect body. Nobody's body is perfect. You are perfect. And once you let go of wishing that we had this or that, you know, then we feel confident and nothing is more beautiful than a confident woman, all right? So let's love who we are and be our best versions. So next move coming up, this time we're gonna do four traveling knee lifts and then four pushing out step backs. So again, doing this one for 50 seconds. If you want to just get used to the arm movement and then you're gonna just step the feet back for four, push the arms in front. Then you travel it forward, squeeze the arms back. If you want to, you could do it like a shoulder press or just stick with what I'm doing here. That's good. So again, this one is a multi-compound move. So where I'm working now for you, I'm working through your thighs, working through your bottom, working through your abs. We're also then working through your shoulders, chest and upper back. That's good. And you've just got last 20 seconds. Keeping that going, keep thinking of those benefits. 
That's good. So today is a longer workout. Remember, I do have all my four minute workouts, seven minute workouts, but I know some of you guys on here love the longer ones and you like the walking ones, the, the um, low impact. Even though it's still high intensity, we're just not doing any jumping, but it's still massively going to get the heart rate up. All right, well done. So we're back to doing your 30 seconds of walking. Or as said, you could be doing a light jog on the spot or just walk around the room. Now my next tip to get ready for summer is start making sure that in your diet you are eating a rainbow of colours. So here, all these smoothies are from my healthy eating book. You know, so like we've got there a spinach and apple, we've got carrot, we've got strawberry, we've got blueberry, we've got lemon, we've got raspberry, you know, we've got chocolate, we've got... um. Oh, chocolate, that's not fruit, oh well. Anyway, but my point is, eat lots of them, because then you're gonna get loads of nutrients, which is gonna really help with your skin, your hair, your nails. Okay, so next move coming up, this one now, we're doing a lateral kind of lunge behind, then you're gonna reach the hands up nice and high. So this one, very much, again, we're working into the waist. So this workout, what I wanted to do, within the walking, I also wanted to focus on those key areas that we want to really tone if we're going on holiday, like we're toning through the arms, we're working through the waist, through the thighs, through the bottom, through the shoulders, through the back, that's good, so reach up, so it's a little mini squat, and reach up high, and really try and take those arms, imagine you're reaching to one corner of the room, then the opposite corner of the room, that's good, and we've just got last 15 seconds coming up from now, doing really well. Keeping that going, that's good. And let's just take it last nine, let's get eight, and take it seven, and six. All right, we've got five to go, keep that going. Nice control, two and one. So let's bring it straight back now to your march on the spot, or again, walk around the room. So the next one that I wanted to say, H2O, water. We all know, we've had it a million times, but you know, drinking water, the benefit, it's gonna give you more energy. It's incredible for your skin. It's great for your hair, your eyes. So if you're going off on holiday, you know, really start doing this weeks and weeks before. I mean, water is just something we should be doing all the time. But you know, if you wanna feel your best on your holiday, then definitely start drinking lots of H2O beforehand. Okay, so next exercise that we're gonna do, I'm gonna show two variations. If you don't like coming onto the floor, stand up, and I'm gonna show you another alternative. If you're coming onto the floor, you're onto all fours, and we're just gonna lift one leg out to the side, then behind. If you want to stay standing up, just do this. You're just doing a tiny little lift behind, and you can squeeze the arms back. If you find it hard for balance, just place one hand by the wall. So this one, we're now working through the booty, and I always know some people don't like coming onto the floor, that's why I'm always just gonna show an alternative. If you are on the floor, so the leg comes up, then out to the side. So what I'm doing here, now you're gonna change, take it to the other leg. We're really lifting and sculpting through the bottom because remember the bottom has three muscles, not just one. It's important to get that perfect peach and that round lift, you have to engage all three. That's good, and lift that up and back. And we've just got last five seconds, doing really well and five from now, sorry, three, let's go two and one. All right, let's just come straight back up now, back to marching or doing your jogging on the spot. So here's a lovely recipe, pea and turmeric mint soup. So with this, what I wanted to say, nutrition is so key. If you wanna look amazing on holiday, let's get nutrition right. And this is from my healthy eating book. You know, we can eat delicious foods. If you are wanting to lose weight, then food doesn't have to be your enemy, far from it. You can learn about how to eat quick, healthy recipes, and that way you won't wanna eat stuff that's overloaded with sugar or processed. All right, so next move this time now, we are all about that waist, we are all about getting that lovely curvy waist. So stand in a wide stance, your knees are bent, and your arms are bent, then you're gonna reach over from one side. Now while you're doing this, what I want you to do, as you take that arm out, reach it out as far to the side as you can and do it this time even a little bit further and every time go a little bit further and you will feel that more in your waist. That means then we are drawing in your waist muscles even more. And this is where the only way to shape your waist, I know on the internet there are all those stupid like corsets that crush your internal organs, organs. all that stuff is nonsense, never fall for it please. You know, the only way we could do it. I mean literally if you think they claim that and those um, tea bags, skinny tea, so you'd 
could think, okay, so I'll put that on and drink skinny tea. It's never going to work. You've got to exercise. Moving your body also generates good health and well-being. All right, doing really well. Let's go four and let's take it three. Let's go two and one. All right, let's bring it straight back now to march around the room. You know, if you want to march around the room, punch your arms above the air so you're just kind of keeping that heart rate up so we're still burning calories. And if you are going off somewhere, I do have my full week get bikini body ready or swimsuit body ready. It's a full week plan. It has 12 different home fitness workouts. You've got a seven day healthy eating plan in there and it's, it just really helps to key focus on those key areas, get your calorie burn up just so you go off, you can pack that swimsuit in your suitcase and feel fabulous by the pool. All right, so next exercise coming up. I love this one. This looks easy, but it's actually really tough. So you're gonna extend your arms above your head. Now imagine you are pulling yourself up on a rope, all right? 50 seconds again. So where I'm activating now, I'm toning through your arms, through your shoulders, but we are also really working back into those obliques. Now today, you are massively working your abdominals, yet guess what? You're not coming onto the floor to do any sit-ups. People always think the best ab exercises are on the floor, far from it. There are actually ones standing up and also you don't ever want to just be doing things like a plank or a sit up because that can broaden your waist. What we want to do is get those nice curves, draw the waist in and create that lovely feminine soft shape and you do that by doing a little bit of a twist, a little bit of a rotation, that's so important. Um, if you see someone that just always does sit-ups and planks, nothing wrong with that. Some people like having a broader waist, um, but that's what that creates. These, This way is where you get those curves. All right, so let's bring it now back to that march. And again, you could for 30 seconds now just be doing some crazy dancing. And also, we've all got areas that we specifically want to tone. And um, in my healthy eating book, this isn't in the bikini one, the healthy eating book, I do have a really fun feature, which is such a brand new, no one's have done this before, so excited to launch it, where you literally just click on any area. So it's like you want to tone your arms, you click on that, and then it gives you a whole load of different arm exercises, or if you want to tone your bottom, your thighs. Okay, so next move coming up, this one now, and this is incredible for working your abdominals. So this is a great one if you're waiting for the kettle to boil, just do these every day. So we are just gonna kick one leg up, reach it to the opposite hand. Because what's happening here, you are engaging fully the three abdominal muscles, which are your transverse abdominus, your rectus abdominus, your internal and external obliques. Because what they're doing is, they're helping keep the back straight because naturally you wanna curve into this. So you wanna really remain, upper body needs to be perfect posture, nice and straight. And the great thing is we're also burning calories while toning your abdominals. Again, if you were just seated on the floor doing sit-ups, you're just really only working one muscle, the rectus abdominis, so you're not doing the calorie burn at the same time. All right, that's good. And let's just keep it going. Last 10 seconds. That's good. All right, and let's count you down from five. Let's go four, take it three two and one. So we are back now to doing your 30 seconds. So we are nearly finished today. You're doing really well with your training. Keep thinking of the benefits you've got from today's workout. You have invested in your health, your well-being, you know, and I've got on my channel now, we're at 850 free workout videos. So just find your favorites. You know, it might be that this one you love doing on a Monday and also it could be you're not going on a summer holiday and it's the middle of spring or winter. It doesn't matter when you do it point of this is going to get you feeling and looking amazing. Okay, so next exercise coming up, this time start with your palms facing forwards, arms extended, and it's if you're doing a big clap and you're going to step a one foot back, we're going to alternate from one side to the other. So what we're doing here, we're working through the bust with this one and the back of the um, upper back, so that area where a lot of people say they get like back fat. So we are doing toning, but we're also then melting calories at the same time because we're keeping the heart rate up. We're doing this multi-compound multi move. That's good, so step it back, alternate it from one side to the other. Now 50 seconds is a long time, so if you find your arms feel a little bit too tired and you've reached that point of challenge and beyond, then just march it on the spot but remember it's important always push yourself to as far as you can go because it's when we start to feel challenged that's when the real effect of toning and healthy weight loss takes part five let's go four take it three two and one amazing well done okay so again let's go back to it we've got 30 seconds so you could be marching on the spot walking around the room um 
And here are just some amazing before and afters from my workout. Some of these are just from my seven minute ones. You know, people get results and the reason being is they can do these for free at home. It's doable. Plus I use very different techniques to other trainers. I use multi-compound moves and always multi-directional and that's how you get real results. All right, so your next move coming up. This one, you're gonna have your arms bent in front, palms facing down, and literally you're just gonna take one leg from one side to the other. So this one here, what we're now doing is we're working those outside muscles of the legs. So we're working through the abductors and adductors on here. You're also using stabilization muscles through your core. So we're activating through your abs and waist while doing this, while we're transferring the weight from one side to the other. Keeping that going, that's good. So we've just got 30 seconds left. So excellent. You know, and I see so many workouts where what they do is they just do like squats, lunges, planks, ab crunches, but all you're ever doing, you only work a front and backwards motion. Your body actually also does sideways and rotational, and that's how you get a real proper effective workout, and that's how you get results, because you can't afford to miss those other muscles, which so many other workouts do. And let's go four, take it three, two, and a one. All right, amazing. So next exercise, we are just going straight back. You know what it is. We're just doing that 30 seconds. So if you want to, you could even add in some star jumps now, or you could just do a little bit of crazy dancing if no one's watching. And let's just keep that going. Do make sure you're landing nice and softly. We are nearly finished with today's workout. So well done. It's been a long one today, but you've done really well. And we've got last 10 seconds, keeping that going. And always march with good posture, shoulders pulled back, chest lifted, two and one. Okay, so your next move, this time we are going to go for both arms in front and you're going to pull back. So imagine this one, imagine you're like pulling back a bow and an arrow. Your feet are slightly wider than shoulder width distance apart, your knees are bent. And now as you pull that arm back, just what I want you to do is pull it far enough about that you can feel that in the waist. So again now we're activating those deep core muscles, so we're shaping through the waist, we're also then toning through the arms. Make sure your knees are slightly bent for me. Um, just by having your knees bent, because I know some people ask why I say that, just means if you had your knees locked, then it means all the pressure is then going in the knee joints, whereas when we've got the joints soft, then we're not putting any pressure on those, instead it's just comfortably in the muscles, so that's why you always want to keep joints soft, that's good. And let's go, last 10 seconds, coming up from now, and really pull that arm far enough back, and it is important, always work through your fullest range of motion, so you get those results. Five, let's go four, take it three, two, and one. Okay, brilliant, so let's take it back, gain, march, jog, star jumps, or make up your own move. Make up your own move. In fact, make up a move, film it, and then let me see it on Instagram and name it whatever you want. And then I'll use it in one of my videos. All right, that's good. So let's the favorite one. And also one that I think I can use. Um, I have terrible coordination. Um, all right, that's good. So let's keep that going. And we've got last five. Let's go four, take it three, two, and one. All right, so next one, this time we're doing three toe taps out, then three taps behind, and we can start adding in arms once you've got used to that leg movement. We'll do 30, we'll do 25 seconds one leg, and then 25 in the other. Now I really found this one hard to edit, so ignore my editing, just focus on the moves you're doing. So you go three out to the side, then three behind three out to the side, and you add in that arm movement. All right, that's good, keeping that going. Well done. Okay, and then what I'll, we'll do halfway through, so at 25 seconds. Now, if you can change for me, so you're gonna take it to the other leg. So it's, remember, it's three out to the side and then three behind, three out to the side. Um, sometimes the editing, because I do the whole thing, I film this, I've edited it, cut it, so sometimes there will be mistakes. So sorry about that, I think that's the only one on here. And let's go five, take it four, go three, two, and one. All right, well done. So next one, let's bring it up. As I said, we are nearly finished today, so let's keep focus. Let's really keep that intensity up. Um, and here's a really nice, easy to make, healthy recipe, butter bean and garlic paste. And all you need with this is some 
butter beans, some water, some lemon, a clove of garlic, and then a pinch of Himalayan salt. Put it all in the blender, mix it up. Oh my goodness, it makes the most incredible um, topping. You could put it on like oat crackers, toast, um, rye bread, anything. It's really lovely and so beneficial for you, and that's from my healthy eating book. All right, next one coming up. We are nearly done. We are gonna do four traveling knee lifts, and then you are gonna do four alternating side step tap backs. All right, so let's go four knees up, and then from there, take the leg out to the side and you're traveling back. That's good. And again, coming forwards, and then take it out to the side. So this is keeping the heart rate up, so we are toning while we are moving as well. And this is where doing standing exercises, it's really functional, it's a really good way to also, let's think about, the other benefit of this, you are working on your balance, your flexibility, your coordination, we're getting your mind thinking, we're keeping your mind active as well. Okay, and let's just go for last 10 seconds from now. So let's keep that focus, doing really well. Step it out, one side to the other, then knee coming forwards, travel that forwards, and you take it back, two and one. And let's bring it straight back now marching on the spot, keeping that going, or you could do that light jog, star jumps, march around the room. And um, do let me know in the comments, if you are going on holiday, where you're going. And also, um, come back and let me know in the comments, if you did these workouts, followed my advice, did you feel amazing? Because I bet you looked incredible. All right, and let's just go last five, take it four, go three, two and one. All right, so our last toning move today is this one. We are going to be doing one um, knee lift, then straight leg kick, knee lift, straight leg kick. All right, so we're doing this for 50 seconds. If you find it hard with balance, do it by a wall or have one hand on the chair. So you're gonna do knee lift and then straight leg kick. So it's knee lift, straight leg kick. I'm going quite fast, you don't have to go that fast. Um, just do it at your own pace. So the benefit here, we are turning through the thighs, through the booty, and we are also massively working through those abdominals. Again, your abs have had the most intense workout today, I promise you. And remember the most important thing is, if you wanna get really good abs, it's about nutrition. Nutrition is key. We can do all the squats, we can do all the lunges, we can do all the workouts, but if we're eating high sugar, if we're eating processed food, if we're eating too bigger portions, that's where we're never really gonna see those full toning results because we're gonna be um, wearing too much excess body fat. So learn to eat clean. Eating clean, once you learn to do it, it's delicious. It's investing in your health too. And one, all right, so let's just finish off today's workout. Last 30 seconds, just marching that on the spot. Just keep that going. You've done really well today. Let's just keep going. So last little bit, if you want to, you could take it to a light little jog on the spot for me or finish off when we go for those last 10 seconds. I want you to push yourself to the max. Now it could be you're just marching really with the tummy tight or go for star jumps or jog on the spot. Get those knees nice and high. Let's just go last five, take it four, three, two, and one. Amazing, and that is today's workout complete. Okay, so let's do some cool down stretches, but first of all, if you need to, just hit that pause button and grab some water, because remember, it's always important to keep yourself fully hydrated. Okay, so let's get straight into doing those stretches. So first one, let's just take that foot behind, hands are always on that bent leg. You want to feel that stretch through the calf muscle, just holding that there, leaning into it. And as I always say at the end of my videos, you know, stretching is important. It helps prevent injuries, you know, but also the most important thing is it really helps keep your body realigned and it's then also really good for posture. Okay, so just feel that stretch. It's important you always feel that stretch in the specific area. Let's go for the hamstring one. So you're feeling this through the back of the upper thigh on the leg that is extended. Have the toes slightly pointing up, tip, tip the bottom away, hands are always on the bent leg. Let's take that now to the other leg. Hold in that there, just feel that stretch. You know, and in today's workout, we have worked near enough for every single muscle group. If you need to do this stretch for balance, use um, a wall or a chair. We're just gonna feel that running down the front of the thigh, the leg that's bent. And let's now take that to the opposite side. And again, just make sure the supporting leg is slightly bent, that we're not jarring that knee out, we're not locking it out. 
Okay, that's good. And now let's just bring the arms in front. Just feel stretched through the top of the upper back. Imagine you're hugging a big, big beach ball. And let's do the opposite. Bring your arms in front and um, behind, sorry. Lift your chest up so we're stretching through the chest. And these are just some of the video ebooks I've got on my website. I also do do online one to one personal training. I've got um, a brand new 5K audio six week training plan that if you want to run a, your first ever 5K, I've got lots of new stuff on there. Head to my website, lwrfitness.com. And if you like today's video, please, please share it on Facebook. Tell your friends, your family, your auntie, your uncle, your neighbors, your dog, everyone. And then, um, because I know what works, you know, if you want to get amazing results for free at home I've got it all here on my YouTube channel and as a qualified trainer with over 25 years experience I promise you I will show you how easy it is to do this as a lifestyle it's about a journey so well done if you've got any um, questions let me know in the comments down below if you liked today's video please definitely give it a thumbs up if you're not already hit that subscribe button and also let me know if you are going on holiday or if you've been, if you felt amazing, um, and yeah, there we are, and I'll see you back on my channel really soon.